Tonight, many Republicans now accusing Biden of abandoning a critical ally, including Donald Trump, who today repeated an anti-Semitic trope questioning Jewish voters who stand by the president. Mm -hmm. If any Jewish person voted for Joe Biden, they should be ashamed of themselves. He's uh, totally abandoned Israel. Oh, look! They're really mad now. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'm Drone Tech, and I bring you videos exposing the deceptive practices of our so-called free press. Deceptive free press like CNN, who should really go the way of CNN Plus because they serve no other purpose but to spread tabloid-level smears about the Democrat Party's political opponents but mostly Trump. You know, if you're gonna constantly complain and fearmonger about Trump's dangerous lies, you should probably not constantly lie while doing so. That's exactly what I'll be showing you today as CNN's Dana Bash spouts multiple straight up lies about Trump in an effort to paint him as anti-Semitic. So let's watch the clip and then I'll show you why it's all BS. We have to remember Donald Trump is very direct here. But and, you said he was and, right. And he hasn't singled out Jewish Americans. He singled out a lot of people for voting for Joe Biden and suggesting they've got to wake up and elect him as president in 2024. So I don't think there's any effort to single out Jewish Americans. And just on that particular question about tropes, I mean, look, we know that Jewish Americans and non-Jewish Americans care about our ally Israel. We know that Jewish Americans and non-Jewish Americans care a lot about these ridiculous protests. I actually have a friend of mine uh, whose brother was graduating from Columbia who had the graduation ceremony canceled. And that's a, a non-Jewish person who cares a lot about these anti-Semitic protests. So I think the fact that Donald Trump is talking about Jews in that particular context does not mean he doesn't think the same lessons apply to a whole host of American citizens. Yeah, because he did say that any Jewish person who voted for Joe Biden should be ashamed of themselves. I want to move on. Gee, look at the time. Well, gotta go. Of course you want to move on. Does the word anti-Semitic even have any meaning at this point? According to Bash, it's anti-Semitic to say that Jewish voters should be ashamed to vote Democrat. For one, it does seem kind of insane for Jewish people to vote Democrat. Since it's become undeniable that Democrats are the home of Arab Nazis and anti-Israel hate. But besides that, didn't Joe Biden say this? Question, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Say what? I can't find a single accusation from CNN or Bash or anyone that what Biden said there was racist. And besides that, the Democrats and their media are constantly doing this exact thing to black and Latino Republicans, who they accuse of being race traitors and voting against their own interests. Nancy Pelosi even recently did it during the Oxford democracy debate, where she admonished Christians for quote, voting against their interests. Of these poor souls who are looking for some answers. We've given them to them, but they're blocked by some of their views on guns. They have the three Gs, guns, gays, God, that would be a woman's right to choose. And, and the cultural issues cloud some of their reception, reception of an argument that really is in their interest. What an asshole. As is typically the case, we're dealing with another special exception to the CNN hack's own rules. Yeah, because he did say that any Jewish person who voted for Joe Biden should be ashamed of themselves. I want to move on. But he's made similar comments about a lot of different groups of people, Dana. I, I don't think anybody could look at the presidency and the conduct of Donald Trump and say, this is a person who's somehow anti-Semitic. And I think whether you're Jewish or not, you should be looking at the record of he, Joe Biden. He and had saying, dinner with Nick Fuentes, who is an avowed anti-Semite. Survey says... <laughs> Vance smacked down her obvious BS, but of course, she had a backup lie, ready to throw out like a grenade. The problem for Bash is that the story was explained when it happened. Trump had no idea who Fuentes was, or that he was even there. Even Democrat Party-controlled NBC News reported this. Now, according to both sides, Trump didn't know who Nick Fuentes was. So, when Mark, in your reporting, you talk about how Trump was, the quote here, is essentially tricked by the rapper and his guests. There were a couple other people who also ended up at the table, one whose role was sort of to give them a ride there and then end up staying for dinner. See, Nick Fuentes wasn't apparently on a list to be able to get in. It's a private members only club. There's not only private security, there's also sort of secret service lying around or uh, standing around and they're doing their job. Nevertheless, security and access is controlled by the private clubs, private security. 
So Karen Giorno, uh, the Trump advisor, was able to sort of talk her way in and bring along Nick Fuentes. He had dinner with Nick Fuentes, who is an avowed anti-Semite. Hey, Bobo, want to play a game? Uh Okay, look up, look down. Now look at Mr. Frying Pan. If you're a Democrat or a left-winger out there watching this, I'm very interested in your explanation for these blatant double standards. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments, and if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and consider subscribing. I post on a regular basis, so make sure to keep checking back for more. That's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.